Continuing with the chapter work, force, and work and energy, right? Uh -huh. You actually told me that we'll first finish the doubts. I sent you doubts. Yes, some are pending, so we'll yeah, start the next class. Yeah, you told class. that we'll first finish that and then okay. Because okay. doubts I have seen, I have not uh, checked uh, thoroughly, so we'll uh, check the doubts in next class. Okay, ma'am. Okay. Along with that, uh, if we finish the work force and energy chapter, along with it, uh, shall I send my other doubts? Yes. Because very less doubts are remaining because most of them are completed. So you, you can send. Mm. Okay, ma'am. Okay. Ma so, it's a video for information. Okay, ma'am. Uh, can I just connect my computer? Uh, can I just start my computer? Please. Yes, ma'am. Yes. Uh, remember, we studied the no. type, type 1, type 2, and type 3. So, this is the no. diagram that I was drawn. Okay. You understood the three types of liver? Ashika? Yes, ma'am. Okay. So, next is peel and axil. We spoke about peel and axil. So this was the video. I think you understood most, mostly all of the things because we have studied this, right? Yeah. Yes. So now we are moving ahead. I think we studied till energy or what? Now one second. I'll just see and. Because uh, potential, kinetic and potential, we have studied both. One second, now let me just oh. Man, um, in energy, like um, kinetic energy, you told me, and then potential energy, we didn't. You didn't tell me anything about it. Potential. Uh, kinetic, we studied till kinetic. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Potential. Harshika, Harshika, just give me two minutes. Yes, ma'am. So now. We study potential energy. Okay. So the definition of potential energy is when a body When a body is placed when a body is placed at certain height.
the energy it possesses potential energy. Potential energy. Yes, P means P thought as written potential energy. So H is the height of the body from the surface of the earth. Ma'am, one second. Yes, ma'am. You done? Have you done till here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So potential energy of a body depends on. At which the body is placed from the surface of the earth. So the potential energy will increase, will increase, this is the sign of increase on increasing the height. From what is the arrow mark? This is for increase. Increase. This is for okay. increase. And this is this side is for decrease. Okay. Okay. So potential energy. And we eat. Increases on increasing. Okay, okay, I get it. Potential energy increase on increasing the height from the surface of the Yes, ma'am. Ma'am, is it a diagram? No, oh, it's just a picture. I'm just uh, telling you something. So here, a ball is placed at some height h. This is the ground, and the ball is placed at height h. So in the above picture, a ball of, for example. 
example mass m is placed at the height h so the ball possesses potential energy and energy possessed by the ball is calculated by the formula mgh m into g into h right g value mm -hmm. gravitational constant value gravitational constant value is g value remains constant everywhere so gravitational constant is it remains and the constant everywhere. value of gravitation when the gravity the constant value of gravity is 9.8 am i right yes yes so small g the value is 9.8 in mgh m into g into h so mass of the object is given to us and it is placed at what height that is also given to us and g we have we know it's 9.8 And so mass into nine point eight into height will give us the answer. The potential energy. The potential energy. And so for example, the ball's mass is hundred, and the height from the ground can be one meter. So, so hundred into nine point eight into one will give us the answer. Will give us the potential energy. Okay, M G. Yeah. Okay. So okay. now, okay, understood? Yes, ma'am. So now, one second, ma'am. I will just increase the volume. Yes, ma'am. So now we will study the principle of conservation. So it says the energy possessed by a body is always remain constant and I write it because the writing it says the energy possessed. Let me know if I can do it and it takes. Energy possessed by a body is always. Then I'll uh, write down the next one. The energy possessed by a body is always remains constant. Yes, ma'am. Always remains constant. Energy and taken away from the body so 
but the energy is stored in the body from one form to another one form to another form so this is known as the principle of energy and also known as the conservation of energy Yes, ma'am. I don't. Yes, husband. So we will understand the force of energy. So we know that. The sun is the primary source of energy for all living organisms, and plants require sun energy for making food for themselves. Yeah. It gives the energy to the plant for their internal activity. So we know uh, we know that all the living organisms directly or indirectly they depend on the plant. Hence, the plants are the source of energy for rest of the living organisms. Wind and water are also the source of energy, which are used for the generation of electricity. Right? Wind and water. So, depending upon the availability of different sources of energy, it can be classified into two types. source of energy and non renewable Ashika yes ma'am where are you Sorry, ma'am. Some cut and was. I um, heard that you have gone somewhere. Okay. Some cut and was on the screen. Yeah. So we have two sources of energy: renewable source of energy and non-renewable source of energy. So have you written much? Yes, ma'am. So first thing we will understand renewable source of energy. Sources of energy the sources of energy. Which 
are called renewable source of energy and example of renewable source of energy are sun wind water so the sources of energy like wind water we use it for electricity right for yeah. uh, and sun also for energy so yeah. the, the sources of energy that are constantly constantly replenished they are finishing day by day diminishing day by day right it depends mm. and so now we will understand non renewable sources so non renewable sources of energy some sources Millions of years to be born. So these are known as non-renewable sources of energy, and the examples are fossil fuels. Fossil fuel. So in fossil fuel, what comes? Like coal, oil, gas, etc. And in sun, wind, water. Solar also, solar also means sun. So you understood the two forms, renewable source of energy. Um. Yes, ma'am. Then one second. One second. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Yes. So, uh, there is a question. I am not writing it because I know you will answer me. So, it's which one of the following type of energy is possessed by a body when placed at a certain height? So, without the options, can you tell me? Ma'am, can you just tell the question again? 
which one of the following type of energy is possessed by a body when placed at a certain height potential energy potential energy very very good that's why i didn't write uh, this question because i know you will tell me without the option <laughs> right yeah so now uh, next we we'll talk about work Mom, mom, I can't hear your voice. हेलो आई एम नॉट आई एम बेटर नाउ यस मैम यस मैम एक्चुअली माय सिस्टर वॉइस अ बिट लो वॉइस वॉज अ बिट लो आई डोंट नो व्हाट टू से सो आई होप नाउ इट्स फाइन यस मैम नाउ आई कैन हियर ओके सो आई आई थिंक वी हैव डिस्कस्ड अबाउट वर्क फॉर एवरीथिंग राइट या वर्क formula for work is formula for work um work is equal to work is equal to actually mu n into n into displacement yeah Any something with Newton. Newton. See. Yes, ma'am. Work is force, force and displacement. Force. Yes. Force in Newton. Displacement in meter. Oh yes, that's why it's Newton. Otherwise, the uh, else the unit of work is. Joule. Joule. Take that two. Okay. So now we can do some questions. first question is bottle opener is an example of can you tell me bottle opener is an example of an inclined plane ma'am can you repeat bottle opener you heard bottle opener lever ma'am lever lever second class lever this is the we are asking you are asking that i am writing i am writing the option okay ma'am so the option are inclined plane first class lever I don't know uh, the class, ma'am. It is second class. Okay. So, yes. One second, ma'am. Let me just see. 
Yeah, yeah. Should I should I start the video again because in the video. Uh, yes, ma'am. Actually. You write the examples, okay? I am starting the video. Okay? Okay, because these are very important. Because you know what I mean in exam also these type of questions come that scissor is an example of which type uh, which type lever which class lever okay yeah, just as So here you can write the examples for first class scissors and seesaw. Yes, ma'am. Bottle opener and wheelbarrow. Let me know once you write. Ma'am, so, it is stapler and muscles. Arm. Ah, this said arm. Ah. Arm. Ah, okay. Ah. Stapler and arm. Ah. So here in this you can see. Yes, ma'am. That our elbow is uh, it's like a fulcrum. Efforts is being applied here and load is being lifted by our fingers. Get it, man. Got it? Direction 
So, Harshika, which option is correct? Do more work with less effort. Less effort. Correct. So, this is the correct answer. So, now next question. Stapler belongs to which class of labor? Stapler belongs to third class. Yes. Uh, I am not writing the options and neither the questions. The options are class 1 lever, class 2 lever, class 3 lever and inclined plane. So the answer is correct. Class 3. So a ramp is a good example of A, a lever, B, a wedge, C, a screw, D, an inclined plane. Ramp. Uh, can you just repeat now? Ramp is a good example of inclined plane. Right. So, next question is So, uh, a dry comb, a dry comb, okay, with which you uh, do your hairs. A dry comb after combing the hair is brought near the tiny pieces of paper. What happens? Have you done this thing? No, oh, ma'am. So, the options are A, the paper pieces. So, uh, see, uh, you have to tear pieces of paper from a small pieces of paper so when you comb your hair and after that you bring those uh, the i mean the comb near the uh, papers so uh -huh. the paper pieces will get attracted and stick with comb this is due to the electrostatic force then so after combing my hair i should do like that yes and the uh, Really, I mean, when you your uh, hairs have oil, not uh, with dry hairs, your hair should have oil. Okay, my so hair should have oil. Oil hair. So the options, the other options are the paper pieces will get repelled due to magnetic force. B, the paper pieces will get repelled due to it electrostatic force C I told you the paper pieces will get attracted and stick with comb due to electrostatic force and fourth okay. option is the paper pieces will get attracted to the comb due to friction force okay so the correct is due to okay, electrostatic ma I'll force try it. I'll yes, try it you try it morning where I so, Harshika, uh, we can have the, because the chapter is almost completed, so we can have the test of this chapter on uh, our classes on Friday, right? Yeah. On Friday and also we do the doubt session on that day. Okay, ma'am. Okay. So, these two things. Division of this chapter, test of this chapter, and uh, doubts. Okay. Okay, so we will meet on Friday. Okay, mom. Okay, bye. Thank you, mom. Bye. Thank you. Bye, Harshika. Bye.